Good morning, beautiful people, to this class, which is a level one class where we emphasize the surrendering. Let me read you this story about Parapati and Ganesha, a tale from the yoga mythology. The goddess Prapati was lonely because her husband, the great god Shiva, was away meditating in the mountains. She waited days, weeks, and eventually years for him to return. But still, he meditated. Prapati wished that he, that she could conceive a child so that the child could keep her company. But of course she couldn't conceive since her beloved was absent. One day, as she was thinking this over, she had a realization since Shiva lived with in her heart. He was actually always present. Loving with delight, she began to rub her arms and legs and belly. From her laughters and the oils of her skin, she created her son, Ganesha. The myth reminds us that by turning within, we can recognize our innate power and capacity. By surrendering the ways we think life has to be, we connect to that innate power and our capability. Find your natural breath. Intensify into complete breath. Feel how you surrender the full exhalation so your next inhalation can take place. Feel how so you surrender your habitual thoughts so you create some space in your mind. Exhaling, free seat, palm tree, bring your arms to the side, bend towards your right. Inhaling back to center. Ex second side, bend to the side. In back to center. Repeat in your own breathing rhythm. And while you bend towards the side, feel how you surrender tension in your spine. You wring out all these circulation and fatigue flow on the side of the spine. You surrender it and then fresh oxygenated blood and nourishment can nurture your back, your disc, your bones. Feel how you surrender your entire exhalation for that little break in between. We let go of certain things so that the cup is empty for new things to welcome. Beautiful. Let's move into the twists. We can stay in free seat, but let's may change our leg that is at the front. Twist first towards your right and feel how you surrender just going into the twist. You go vertebra by vertebra. And feel you lengthen your spine and imagine that somebody carries your torso. And you just relax the shoulders, but you 
keep that torso elevated, lifted. And now surrender all the tension in your back. Intensify if your body allows. Slowly unwind and come to the second side. Twists are excellent to let go of tension in our back. When we release tension, there are really old mental or emotional tightnesses we hold. So we let go of these old patterns and invite the energy to flow freely through these areas. Beautiful. From the base of the spine and vine, try to feel vertebra by vertebra. Let go of any rush. Beautiful. From here, let's tuck the tailbone under and come into a basic squat. I just turn around. Place your pillow in your number spine here and if you have any core weakness, you may also want to have a block there. From here, let's hug the right knee and extend your left leg. Tuck your tailbone under and roll down until you arrive on your block or pillow. And then feel the shin bone pushes forward you feel the core strong and you push forward into a squat. Lengthen your spine, change the leg, extend your right, tuck the tailbone and roll back. Even flowing roller. And now repeat. You choose your length how far you go down, then go to that edge where you, it would be uneven. So we want to create that even flow. Even flowing down and even flowing up. And don't get tired and working really on that edge where you need to strengthen your core. Don't get tired to prop yourself. Surrender yourself into that path of getting stronger systematically, step by step. If you like, you can add when you roll up an extended squat. Then you lower down, you change your side, and you roll down. Surrender any nervousness, surrender any erratic movement, invite grace, strength, and even flow. Be so relaxed and joyful in yourself. Next time, when you have finished on your left side,
raid and squat. And then relax your spine back, lift your heels and come into free seat. In free seat, I just showed to you that the feet are really pointed. And here it's free, so there is no, it's just space for your foot. Now to come forward from free seat into cat, you first shift your weight forward. And for some of us, it's just the weight forward. For some of us, it's lifting the hips with help of the hands. The hands go inner arm, and you come forward into cat. Tuck your toes, exhaling, sway back, extended child. Feel how when you are all the way back, you surrender to the spine. Ex cap tuck. Feel how you round upper, middle, and lower back. In cat, lengthen from the base. And sway back into extended child. Ex cap tuck. Round neck, chest, lower back. Now let's release the toes and then lengthen from the base of the spine. Feel how that you have a little back bend in your chest, a little cobra. When you go back, feel how your toes tuck again. And you integrate that tucking off and releasing of the toes into your flow. Ex cap tuck. In toes release from the very base of the spine, lengthen. Ex lay back, the toes even flowing tuck. Ex cap tuck. Toes release, spine lengthen. Ex back into extended child. Last round, ex cap tuck. In toes release, lengthen into cap. Ex back, extended child. Long deep breath. Surrender your forehead to the mat. Surrender all the thoughts. Surrender any tension in your neck and shoulder girdle. Surrender your full exhalation for a fresh new inhalation. With breath awareness, exhaling cap tuck. In the toes release, basic slant, find a diagonal line between knees, hips, shoulders, and hat. Now start bending your elbows and feel how that diagonal line is lowering down into face down. In Cobra 1, X Cobra 2, sway back, tap your toes on the way back, extend it sharp. In D, X cap tap, tap every vertebra of your spine and push them up to the ceiling. In basic slant, toes release, find a diagonal line. X, bend your elbows and lower down. In Cobra 1, crown to the heart. X, Cobra 2, heart to pubicum. Sway back, extend it child. Inhale. Ex cap tuck. 
in basic slant. X, make sure the elbows to the movement. In seamless flow between Cobra 1 and Cobra 2, shoulders stay down. X, extended child. Flow three more rounds. Feel squeezing the front of the body. Feel lengthening the spine. Feel strength around the spinal alignment. Feel the back bend in the upper body. Feel the back bend in the entire spine. Feel the back bend is entering the forward bend of extended child. X cap tuck in basic slant. X face down in cobra one. X cobra two. Back into extended child. Last round. Keep going in your own breathing rhythm. So relaxed, graceful, even flowing. Relax in the standard child asana. Surrender the activity of the hands into a mudra. Here, Bhu Mudra or Triangle Mudra. Surrender the activity of your eyes to the inner eye gate. Surrender, surrender any tension in your face. Or around your heart, let go. From extended child, exhaling, roll up into toe stretch. In lengthen. Legs hinge forward into cat. Sway back, mountain lift. Stay in mountain lift where the sit bones are far back and up. The heels are stretching down, but the chest is lifted. From mountain lift into mountain, have a look at my lumbar spine. You bring first. This belly button more towards your thigh and then you lower vertebra by vertebra. Let's repeat that. X cat top. In cat. Feeling cat, your lower back is neutral, your upper back is in a cobra. And then take that back bend and sway back, mountain lift. Keep the chest lifted. It's such a great strengthener for our upper back. And then feel how you bring the belly button first, more to the thigh, and then you lower vertebra by vertebra. Repeat. Ex cap tuck. In cat. Ex sway back, mountain lift, mountain. From mountain, exhaling, cat tuck. In cat. Let's repeat three more rounds. Ex mountain lift. Clearly feel the pose stop. Then let the movement lowering into mountain happen. When you have lowered all the way and you felt the movement at the crown of the head, you start to cap tuck. The rounding starts in your neck and you roll down, you drop the knees and then you lengthen from the base. 
Repeat. Exhaling, mountain lift. Inhale. X mountain. Inhale. X cat up. In cat. Last one, sway back, mountain lift. Feel you, how you bring the front of the hips closer to your thigh and then you relax your spine down. Mountain, shoulders away from the ears. Ears and upper arms, one line. Long, deep breath. Exhale, cat tuck. In cat. Ex child asana, sway back. You can relax your arms forward or back. Let your body relax in that pose and find the deepest relaxation. The most inner peace, so calm and relaxed. See whether you can concentrate for three more breaths in the pose. Your next exhalation, roll up, prep, natural seat. In lengthen. Ex hinge forward into cat. And sway back, mountain lift, mountain. Exhaling, right side swan. Press your left heel down, lift your right heel. Curl your chin in and feel that you bring your knee forward, but you also have an outer rotation in your right leg. Drop both knees, drop your hip, and now concentrate on lengthening your spine from the very base. Sway back, mountain lift. Stretch high and relax into mount. X, prep, left side, swan. In, lengthen from the base. X, sway back, mountain lift. Relax into mountain. X, right, prep, swan. In, lengthen. X mountain lift mountain. X left prep for swan. In mountain lift mountain. X. With your next exhalation, right sides prep for swan. In lengthen. If you like, you can have a pillow underneath your buttocks. X, swan bow, the toes release. In swan. For swan bow, feel the long spine hinging forward, surrendering from the base of the spine, vertebra by vertebra. For swan, round the spine to come up. And then lengthen from the base. X, swan bow. In, swan.
Beautiful. Next time, when you are in swan bow, stay swan bow asana. You can glide forward with your hands and bring your hands in a triangle mudra. Inner eye gaze to the third eye. Forehead relaxes onto the mat. Feel each exhalation completing. Surrendering the shallow breath and inviting each breath to be a complete ucha e breath. Two more long breaths. With your next exhalation, place your hands next to your knees. Curl your chin in round your spine to come up. Lengthen from the base. <coughs> Pardon me. And from here, we come into an extended mountain. So tuck your toes under, sway back into a mountain lift. And in mountain lift, like a seesaw, the leg goes up and your chest lowers. Supercharge the back leg. And now feel the balance between your right arm and left arm. You want to carry even weight. Your shoulder girdle is Balancing or parallel towards the floor. Your hips are parallel to the floor. In extended mountain one, the knee and toes point down. In extended mountain two, you have that outer rotation in your thigh. Feel you always want to have both sides of your body even long. Don't lean into one side. Extend both waistlines even long. Beautiful. Your next exhalation, right side swan. In lengthen. X mountain lift mountain. Inhale. It's capture in cat X child asana. Receive your longest, finest breath. Your next exhalation, roll up, prep, natural seat. In left. Exhale forward, cat. In, feel lower back, neutral, upper back, little cobra. Exhale back, mountain lift, mountain. Inhale, X left side swan, in length, X swan bow the toes release, in swan. Feel your bend forward to your maximum forward bend with the long spine. Then you surrender from the very base of the spine. You round from the top to the bottom to come up and then you extend from the very base. Repeat.
You can go exhaling down, inhaling up. And if you need extra breath in between, you just do so. Most important is that you have to even flow. And that each movement is graceful. And you spread your awareness all through your spine. Next time when you're in swamp, prepare yourself for swan bow asana. You can let your arms glide forward, hands in a mudra, forehead to the ground. Watch each exhalation flowing out to its maximum. Relax any tension you may hold. In your next exhalation, place your hands next to your knees, round your spine, bring the shoulders over the hips, in lengthen. X, left side, extended mountain, go through mountain, lift, and the seesaw, bring your left leg up. Find the symmetry between the right and left side. Your next exhalation, crack for swan. In lengthen. X mountain, lift mountain. Inhale. X cat tuck. In cat. X child asana. Your next exhalation, prep natural seat. In lengthen. X hinge forward, cat into mountain. And then from mountain, come into mountain lift. Lift your chest and hat. Bend your knees and gently walk or jump out into pyramid. From pyramid, jump your feet together, toe balance. The knees lower, the belly button draws in, the shoulders come over the hips, the hands come to the heart. Long, deep breath. Surrender any attachment to stay in balance. Surrender to get irritated by these muscles working. 
render any irritation on wobbling in the pose. Beautiful, from here, hinge forward, hands onto the blocks, send your sit bones up, heels down, and then relax your spine over your leg. And you can bend your knees so you can really let that upper body here hang, surrender the weight of the head to the floor. Your next exhalation, bend your knees, tuck the tailbone, and roll vertebra by vertebra up. In upward salute. Exhale to the heart. Inhaling, feel your heart space. And just exhaling, feel whether you can release any tension in that beautiful heart space. Flowing on, breathe. Long, deep breath. Come to the front of your mat, have your blocks there. Feet parallel, stand tall, stand broad. Inhaling forward salute. Exhaling earth touch. In monkey, X mountain lift, mountain, X cap tap, in cap, blocks to the side, extended child. Your next exhalation, roll up, toe stretch. In lengthen. Hinge forward. If you like for your back bends to have to your pillow here, please place it. And then come forward into cat. And we go into eight part bow. Feel your cat alignment, lower back neutral, upper back in a little back bend. The movement starts by bending the elbows and lowering the chest forward and down. Chest and forehead are right. Push your groins down and release your toes. Your pillow is between pubic bone Groins, pubic bone, and below the belly button. Inhale, cobra one. Lengthen your spine, lift your chest. Feel the back bend in your upper spine. Exhaling, release, vertebra by vertebra. Inhale, in face down. Ex cobra two, roll. Curl your chin in, round your neck, chest, lower back. Lift up with the strength of your back and your arms. In, lengthen from the base. Ex, lower down, vertebra by vertebra. In, cobra one. Ex, face down. Inhale. X round from the top to the bottom, push up. 
in lengthen from the base. Exhale, lower down. In Cobra one. Ex face down. Inhale. Ex Cobra two wrong. In length. Ex three. Last round. In Cobra one. Asana. Shoulders move back and down and counteract the movement forward and up of your sternum. Feel the front of the body reaching forward and up. The back, your shoulder plates reaching down. Neck relaxed, jaws relaxed. Breath flowing. Your next exhalation, face down. Feel your inhalation in, face down. Exhaling, round from the top to the bottom. And then lengthen up. And feel here again, the spine is reaching up, shoulder blades are reaching back and down. Your next exhalation, sway back, extended child. And if you like for today, take your pillow between into your groins and lean over your pillow, getting a different stretch in your forward bend. Your next exhalation, roll up into toe stretch. In lengthen. The pillow can be placed underneath your thighs and groins. Hinge forward into cat. Caterpillar. Feel your cat alignment, lower back, neutral, upper back, and your back bend. Bend your elbows and bring your chest and chin down. Let your arms glide back. You can place your pillow that it let, it's underneath your groins. The arms are straight, thumbs hooked. Now push your groins onto your hands, release your toes. You can choose here between half locus or locus. I'm going to demonstrate the full locus. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Half locus would be one leg up. And exhaling down. Let's repeat the version you have chosen. If you do half locus, you alternate sides. Beautiful. Next time when you uphold half locus or locus asana, five breath. Relax. If you do half locus, do the other side. If you do full locus, have a breath in between and then restart again. Locus asana.
relax, lift your hips, release your arms, turn your head, forehead down, head towards the right, face down, rest asana. Your next exhalation, face down. In Cobra 1, Cobra 2, X way back, Child Asana. Receive the full breath and surrender any shallow breathing. With your next exhalation, roll up, prep natural seat. In lengthen. Hinge forward into cat. Step with your right knee, left, right foot next to your left knee. With the relaxed spine, sit back into squat, tortoise. With the relaxed spine, bring your right knee out, half towards, and then lengthen your spine and bring your hands up. Twist from the base of the spine, vertebra by vertebra. Long, deep breath. Your next exhalation, unwind from the base and hinge forward, forward bend. In our forward bend, we surrender the duality of upper body and lower body into a oneness. Upper and lower body want to melt together. Surrender. Beautiful. From here, roll back up, half towards in lengthen. Tuck the tailbone, bring your right knee up, squat towards, hinge forward from the hips, hands in or on, in extended cat, X cat. Repeat on the other side. I'm going to turn around so you can see me better. In left side, extended cat. X, bring your left knee next to your right. Squat towards. Place the pearl. Half towards. Make sure your hips are leveled. Twist from the base of the spine towards your left. Vertebra by vertebra. 
Double check. Sometimes we have a mirror that where you can see that the waistlines are even long, the hips are leveled, the shoulders are leveled, the head is not dropping, more leaning back to the invisible wall. Your next exhalation, unbound. Hinge forward from your hips. Feel how with that straight back, your upper body comes closer to the lower body. And then melt into that forward bend. Of your degree, you can always have blocks here or surrender all the way to the floor. Choose your version. Your next exhalation, roll back up in lengthen. Ex squat tortoise, relax your spine. In cat, extend your left leg back, extended cat. And sway back into. Child Asana. Your next exhalation, roll back up, natural seat. Lengthen. Ex quarter turn towards the long side of your mat into cat. Then take your blocks just in front of you. And maybe for today's day, to the long end, so we can see my post better. We're going to take the blocks in a one block on top of, in front of each other. You can have one pillow or more pillows on top of it. So it's nice and firm and as high as you need. So from your cat, and you are on the long side of the mat, you ground your feet and you bring your knees apart for penguin. And you just place your blocks underneath your hips so that you land on your blocks. And see how my knees and hips are one line. And you can either be with your feet together here, that's extended frog, or you can have your feet parallel. I'm gonna demonstrate today extended frog. You can relax your head to the side. Long, deep breath. Surrender the movement of the hands into a mukra. Surrender the movement of the eyes into the inner eye gaze. Surrender any tension, let them melt away.
We hold for five more breaths. If you have your head to one side, just turn it to the other side. Excellent. From here, place the hands underneath the shoulders and push yourself up. And you may want to bring your knees a little bit more in and then relax and sit back into your tortoise. Sit on something if you need. Beautiful. From here, Hinge forward into cat, tuck the toes, mountain heel press, one heel up, one heel down. Beautiful, from here, coming to mountain. X cat tuck. In cat. Exhaling, release the toes, bring your feet apart. Relax back into toes and please sit at least on one block. Sit on the very front edge of the block. You can always sit on two blocks if you know your knees are require that or you have any tension here. Please be really careful. And then lean back, tack, tack, tack the toes, lean back a lot. And then feel, get a feeling here, is that okay for my knees and feet? If so, keep going and glide with your feet forward. If not, please come back and go a different way into prep to lower. Hip lift. Prep to lower. Here, rock from side to side. Or stay still at center. Have a big smile in your heart. Let that smile of the heart internally become a smile in your face. I smile, your mouth smiles, every cell smiles. Exhaling, lower your feet down. Reclined butterfly. Place your hand on an area of your body where you like to surrender. Your heart space. Maybe stress is settling in your diaphragm or core. Or further down in your digestion, releasing pelvic floor, reproductive organs. Place your hands where you want to release tension, imbalance.
And then check in whether you want to stay for today in this reclined butterfly. Or whether you want to ground your lower back, bring your knees back up, your knees to chest. And then release into tranquility. You can bolster your head with a pillow. The arms can be next to the body in Chana Mudra or on your chest in Completion Mudra. The shoulders surrender. The facial muscles relax. The lips relax and every muscle in your mouth relaxes. The ears relax down inward. The eyes surrender into their cavities and relax backward. Your forehead relaxes and broadens. Your crown relaxes and feels spacious, opening out to the space above. Let your body relax. Feel you are carried by Mother Earth. Relax to the degree that you even forget that you are wearing a body.
Sit yourself up, comfortable seat. Feel after your new yoga practice, and your body feels released of tension. The energy is flowing. The mind is calm and peaceful. And the sensation of bliss is spreading through the body. We call that the body has aligned itself. Let's dedicate the practice to the healings of others. Think of three people you want to send some peace to and chant for each of them one round. Wish you peace in your spirit, peace in your mind, peace in every word, and peace with every feeling that flows through your heart. Namaste. Feel free to subscribe to my channel to get informed with all the new movies. Feel free to leave a comment or a thumbs up. It's always a blessing to hear from you and get a feedback how you enjoy the practice or what changes you would like to see. 
Much love and namaste.